What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm playing Nine Child Street. I'm really excited to play this because this is a game made by the developer of Wrong Floor and From the Darkness, which are two games that I thoroughly enjoyed. So let's just play. Armin, the protagonist of our story, was a very curious boy. He's about to turn nine years old. After his birthday, he began to notice strange things happening in the abandoned house across the street. One night, when he saw the light in the window, he finally decided to go to this mysterious house. Doesn't seem like a great idea, but you know what? I guess there's nothing that can be done about it. I gotta get into the house, it says. The field of view is kinda crazy here, man. Oh. Wow. Okay, well, looks like I can just sneak through here. Damn, okay. Looking promising already. I like the look. I like the style. Now... I'm assuming the front door is just a straight up no-go. I'm not going to be able to get in. I was correct. Look at me. All these years of playing indie horror games. My mind is fully aware of every possible encounter that could occur in a place such as this. Except that squeaking. Is that the swing set? How are you squeaking without moving you know what it's fine at least there's a little playground here for me i'm pretty pretty happy about that zero out of ten i hate this game it didn't let me slide what's wrong with you oh a door and i'm in examine the room with light on the second floor oh so it was the second floor that had this issue all right well that's locked you know what let's just go straight upstairs or I'm doing things before I should. Okay, TV turned on. We'll make a mental note of that. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing I can do from this point. What the hell, bro? How would I get upstairs? Is there another way through here? Maybe? What are you doing, dude? Stop. Don't you dare touch me! I can't turn that off with the remote. And I can't turn that off manually, so... Looks like... That TV is forever stuck on the static channel. I hope you guys are okay with that. Pushing forward. The beach room. Oh, God. This place is horrendous. At least there's no blood in the tub. That's a nice surprise. Okay, this is opening. Why does this... Do I... Am I gonna need to freaking hide in this game, dude? Oh, okay, whenever I see something like that, I know it means that... It's gonna get rough, dude. Things are gonna get real scary and frightening and intense. But I gotta just... I gotta just find the way... I gotta just find the way upstairs and there's... Balls to the wall. Just so you guys know, I stole that joke from my friend Bobby. Oh, hello Jack, I'm a longtime fan of yours and I really love your work. I would like to get an exclusive doll. Please answer. Well, I didn't know Jacksepticeye made dolls, but we learn something new every day. Yeah, I was saying that, uh, that balls to the wall joke. I stole that from my friend Bobby. We're at the movies watching the new Poltergeist movie, or the most recent Poltergeist movie. There was a scene where a ball did something similar to that. And in the dead silence of the theater, what do you hear from directly next to me in the seat that Bobby was sitting at from Bobby's own mouth? Other than balls to the wall. Needless to say, we had to hold in our laughter or else we would have just cracked up. Ew! Oh my god! Is that an art breeder image? It looks like an art breeder image. Okay, you said to check the room with the light. Why is my light having prob... Mm, okay, yep, we got some art breeder images here, dude. You think I don't know? You think I don't understand who you are? I've had about enough of this nonsense. Get me out of this nonsense house. I don't know why I'm saying nonsense like that. Ooh. Ooh, the ambiance. The ambiance. Some kind of tool thing. A shoit and an iris. I have to turn on the flash. What the freakazoid is going on, man? You guys like how I'm not swearing? Family friendly time. Ah! What the fuck? This is a really weird place to put a couch, dude. I don't get it. You're staring into the infinite void outside because there's literally nothing there. What about in here? Ooh. This is openable. But why? All right, I guess let's keep pushing onward. Oh my god, oh, dude. Okay, so next course of action is to find a way into that room. We got an upstairs laundry room. Place is pretty nice. I mean, fix it up a little bit. 
fix the cracks in the wall and the dirty walls and the paintings on the walls. You got yourself a nice place, a nice old place. Oh my God. Why is that actually scaring me right there? That's actually really scary. That's a really scary image. I always knew that children attracted me. They carry good in them, in my house and in me. This good has always been absent. Oh, we have another entry here, but it's mostly cut off. It just says, now in my house. I, I'm i now in your house. I don't like the noise. All the, <laughs> All the other doors that are locked did not make that noise, so why must you? Ooh. Ooh. Real good ambiance here, man. Another art breeder image. Okay, so here's the staircase that was blocked. And now... What did I just hear? You know what? It's fine. I don't care. I'm in here now. Oh! Okay, we're closing you back in, dude. Sorry, but not sorry. I don't want you anywhere near me. Okay, I'm not seeing much else here, so I guess I gotta approach the weird mannequin doll that the head that poops and it's very oddly shaped. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like I don't like that, dude. Hide? You got it. This is a message for those who think I'm crazy. You'll be right because I am really crazy. Okay? What does that have to do with me? And the reason why I'm in here? Binoculars. Was he watching me? This dude was watching me the whole time. Okay, so there's got to be something in here that I need, no? Like a key of sorts to get into that room that had the light on. All right, I can't pick this up, so I don't think there's anything doing there. Every time I turn around, I see your face and it freaks me out, dude. I don't like it. I don't like you, but at least that doll is still there. That's... I was going to say that's great, but it's really not. I don't want that thing anywhere near me, dude. It's not pretty. I mean, it's beautiful. I'm only saying this because I have a feeling that thing is going to come to life and attack and kill me. So it's beautiful. You're beautiful, sir. Thank you for being so beautiful. Do you have anything I need? No? I'm just going to stand around. Okay. So I haven't been able to find anything here. I don't think there's anything of use. So I'm going to open that. I'm definitely hearing some noises and the door is open. Just what I always wanted. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Was this a child's room? I was waiting for you. I can't. I can't close the door and I can't leave. That's great. Oh, look at that. Leave. Let me just quickly. This is for you, Armin. I was going to marvel at the cats and penguins. I guess the only way out is through the door with the mysterious maniac right here. <laughs> nice. And I'm blocked. And I'm locked. I'm locked and blocked. I'm also ready to rock, huh? You guys do? That's still locked and it makes a horrible noise. Now, let me go see what the doll doing. What the doll doing? There you are, doll. That's what you're doing. You're just chilling there. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to be afraid of with you. Now with you, that's a different story. Do I hide? Is that what you want from? <gasps> oh, okay, you know what? I'm not hiding in there. The shirt scared me. I was afraid because of a shirt. I'm going down here. Do I just? Okay. Well, the door's boarded up. <laughs> I don't just. I didn't even finish my sentence before, but I'm sure you guys can guess what I was going to say. What I was going to. You know what? You tell me to leave. And the music stops. What do you think is going to happen when I turn around? Nothing. Hey, could you shut up? Could you stop? Okay. Definitely nothing doing with that door. Okay. 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 You can relax, dude. You can relax. You don't got to go doing all that, man. We got plenty of time here for you to be an asshole, but now's not the time. I didn't come in here to see some stupid ghost flick around the lights and stand as a shadowy figure in my way. I came here to get answers. 
find the source of the cry? The doll. Just you wait. Let me let me turn off this flashlight and turn it back on. No, it won't let me. Okay, well. No, you're still there. You're still horrifying as ever. I gotta find the source of this crying, dude. That's still locked. Where's that coming from? Find the key? Help us, the key is above the TV. Okay, okay, okay. You got it. You got it, homie. This is, this is creepy, man. This is really creepy. This is the one thing I love about this dev's games is that the ambiance is so well done. The ambiance and atmosphere of this dev's games are always so well done. This one seems a lot more tame than the other two, but so far I'm digging it. Wait, where did you say it was? The key is above the front door? Is that what you said? I gotta go read that note again because I made a stupid mistake by not paying attention at all to what it said other than the word door being in the picture there. The key is above the teeth. That's what it was. The, the word door wasn't even involved at all. Leave it to me to jump to conclusions here. Okay, I'm going to the TV. We're gonna find this stupid key and we're gonna get out of here. I'm just the master of rhymes. Where's, oh, the TV in the other room. Duh, the room that caused me so much agita before. Where was it again? Over here, yes. All right. Oh, mm. And there's the key. Mm. Don't, I don't reach, I need a chair. What is this? Louise lives, she turned nine. I built her a slide in the backyard. Steve is my new nine-year-old friend. In honor of this, I built a swing. It's a little weird that you're doing stuff like that for neighbor kids, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm not gonna assume the worst of you. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that maybe you just really care about kids still. A little bit weird, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit strange. What is with my flashlight, dude? Why is it so much darker? I guess it doesn't really matter. All that matters now is that I find a chair. Can I use this? Aha, look at me, damn. I'm pretty strong for a nine-year-old kid. I have no problems with this. Okay, well. All right, we're gonna put the chair down and I'm gonna climb up it and I'm gonna grab the stupid key and we're gonna get the stupid hell into that door. It's fine, dude. What was that noise? Wow, dude, really? This is what you're gonna do? Why is there blood all over this and all over the floor and leading? Oh God, here we go. I'm going to die soon. It doesn't really make me sad. I want to do the last job, connect the children so that they live peacefully. Okay, so you're definitely not a creep. You're definitely not a weirdo. But what the hell are you doing here anyway? You don't belong here. Do you guys get the references that I'm making right now? You understand? You, you guys, guys get, get it? it? Sorry, I don't know what came over me there, dude. I just gotta follow this trail of blood. There's been a few like kinda typical indie horror tropes in this game, but I'm still liking this so far. The pacing is nice. The ambiance and the atmosphere, as I said, very well done. And I go into a dark basement. This is exactly what I always wanted, dude. I don't do whispering too well, man. I'm sorry, but if there's anything in indie horror games that really freaks me out, it's whispering. Whispering with no source. No visible source. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Um. It was again a dream about this strange house. Dude. I'm surprised I didn't scream because of that. But soon Armin will go to it. Wait, what? What happened? And that was the demo. Well, that was pretty good. Definitely a lot different from the other games that I've played by this dev but I think it went in a nice direction. This seems to be more along the lines of your typical like run of the mill indie horror games where you just kind of roam through an abandoned house and find like keys and have random spooky events happen. And again, there are a lot of like typical indie horror game tropes that I've seen many times done before in games. But overall, like the packaging of the game, the way it plays, the atmosphere, the ambiance for the third time I'm saying this, the pacing, the story is like mysterious and dark. I really enjoyed this. I think. 
even though there was like some typical stuff that you see in a lot of games here, it was put together in a very cohesive and fun to play way. But yeah, not much else to say. If you guys enjoyed this and you want to try this game out for yourselves, as usual, I'll be leaving the link down below in the description. Otherwise, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks everyone so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate every last one of you for taking the time out of your day to come to this channel, show me the support that you do and all the love that you guys show me in the comments. It really means a lot to me to know that there are people out there who enjoy what I'm doing and you guys are all giving me the opportunity to continue doing this. So I am eternally grateful to you. But anyway, if you guys happen to enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. Smack that subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to ring that bell while you're down there so you don't miss any of my daily uploads. And again, I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for watching this video and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take it easy.